Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Arif, your Cloudland Journey Partner. Today's uh, video topic is AWS Solutions Architect Associate Certification. So today I will help you to create a roadmap. If you follow that roadmap, you will have a certification like this in your background. So uh, in today's video, we'll talk about uh, the certification overview and the study guidance and uh, how long it will take for you to uh, get people to certification. So before starting this uh, video, I just want to talk about my Myself, well, I do have more than uh, eight years of experience in cloud computing, specifically AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. Beside my cloud expertise, I also do have a cybersecurity experience. I can guarantee that if you can uh, see the whole video, you will have the clear idea like how to get prepared for this AWS as a, uh, Solutions Architect Associate Certification. Uh, so uh, this channel is all about uh, cloud computing, specifically AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. Beside that, I'll also cover uh, topics related to uh, security part. So if you are interested in this field, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos. I'm planning more and more videos in future. Uh, so without further ado, let's dive in. At the very beginning of this video, we're gonna go through AWS official website where they have briefly explained about this AWS Certified Solutions Associate Certification. There uh, could be a question in your mind that AWS provides three associate certification, AWS Solutions Architect, AWS DevOps, and the third one is AWS SysOps Administrator. So which certification we should uh, get started with? So if you ask me, I would definitely suggest you to go for this AWS solution circuited associate because it covers a lot of AWS services. So if you clear this certification, then you'll have a very good understanding about AWS ecosystem, like how we have how we can integrate multiple AWS service together to come up with a solution. So if we go through these uh, points here, like who should take this exam? Here it's explained very briefly that is experience in AWS technology, strong on-premise site experience and uh, understanding of mapping on-premises to cloud and experience working in other cloud providers or services. Uh, so if you have this sort of experience, then definitely AWS uh, Solutions Arc Associate is a very good certification for your career. So I also started my career with this certification in 2017. Back then, there wasn't uh, any uh, certification named as AWS uh, Practitioner. So I started my career with AWS Solutions Architect Associate and trust me, it really helped me to clear all the concepts that is required to build a solution in AWS uh, system. So if we look into the exam overview, the level is associate. We all know that the length of the exam is 130 minutes to complete the exam. So it's almost like two hours. The cost of the exam is 150 USD, which is very less compared to other certification. Even though the cost is very less so for the certification, the value it's going to add to your resume is uh, unimaginable. So the exam format is uh, 65 question, either multiple choice or multiple responses. So in some questions, you have to answer with uh, one single answer or uh, in other questions, you have to choose uh, uh, best two out of four or best two or three out of four uh, options. So it depends. And uh, the question uh, scenario is most of the questions are scenario based. So that means that uh, it will explain a scenario from the AWS console and you really need to know like how to uh, solve the situation. So it's not just only some uh, random memorized uh, overview that will help you to pass the certification. You have to create AWS account and you have to practice all the services that are important for the certification. If you do that, just only then you can pass the certification. It's more of a like hands-on experience, even though it's uh, multiple choice questions, but it tests your knowledge on AWS console. So there are two ways you can uh, sit for certification. The first one is Pearson View Testing Center that you can go physically and sit for the certification. And the other one is online product exam. So you can sit in your home in, uh, and uh, you can log into your computer and uh, sit for a certification, but you will be monitored by, uh, by some proctor online. So you have to keep your camera on. So uh, it's, uh, it's up to you which one you prefer, but uh, I prefer my home experience because uh, uh, here I have um, a full control of my environment. So uh, if you ask me which one is better, I'll definitely go for the online proctored exam, but make sure that you have a very reliable internet connection. 
All right. So after that, now let's talk about the exam guide. So if I click here, here you can see that the complete exam guide. Uh, the code for the certification is SAACO3. So whenever you will register for the certification, then you have to select this uh, code under the portal. So remember that it's very important. So the exam also validates candidate ability to complete the following tasks. So here it's very, ex very briefly it's explaining like what kind of question you may expect in the exam. The first one is design solution that incorporate AWS services to meet uh, current business requirement and future project needs. Design architecture, secure, resilient, high performance and cost optimized. And the last one is review existing solution driven improvement. So you really need to know like how to create a solution in AWS using multiple AWS services services together to come up with a solution. So it's very important and here it's uh, mentioned that the target uh, candidate should have at least one year of uh, hands-on experience uh, to sit for the exam. So it's not a hard requirement. You don't have to provide a, a proof that you have one year of experience but if you really want to pass the certification then this experience is very important. Uh, but don't uh, get discouraged uh, that you don't have one ex one years of experience. I can still recall when I first sit for the certification, uh, I studied just one and a half month with that and prior experience. So before one and a half month, I didn't even know what is AWS. I just spent my major of a majority of my day of this one month and thirty one month of fifteen days. So I studied almost like 15 to 18 hours every day to pass the certificate just not only just the bookish knowledge i tried the aws console i went through all the materials that i could found from the uh, from the internet so if you can uh, dedicate yourself for the certification for one and a half month i believe you can pass it because i passed it too i'm not that a genius so if i can do it you can do it too all right so let's move on the exam content so we already know that we will face multiple choice question multiple responses and here we can have a content outline so there are four domains that you need to focus on for this certification the first one is the design secure architecture it's very important you can see it's the majority percentage is 30 percent the second domain is design resilient architecture so here you'll test like how much uh, you are familiar with aws console the third one is the design high performing architecture when we're talking about high performing architecture that means uh, we need to make sure that our architecture is fault tolerant. It uh, has multiple availability zones and all the best practices that AWS uh, suggest whether we are implementing all of it. The last one is uh, design cost optimized architecture. It's uh, also 20%. So we really need to know how to optimize AWS billing, AWS cost, how to come up with a solution where we have to pay exactly what we're using. We're not uh, paying extra money for AWS resources. So in, in total, it's 100%. So here is a complete breakdown of each and every section. I highly recommend you. So if you are looking for the certification, first at the very beginning, go through this outline, go through the uh, domain, like for the design secure architecture, what specific things you really need to know. And then uh, for domain two, what uh, topic you need to cover in this way, it, please, go, uh, please go through all the four topics, four domains before you start your studying so that you know you will know exactly what you need to look for uh, whenever you are uh, doing your self-study. So very quickly we have looked into the exam guide. The next important thing that is uh, here we can see is this one. It's called download sample questions. If I click here, here we will see a 10 sample question these questions are almost the same sort of question that you're gonna face in our exam so my suggestion to you would be please don't look into these questions at the very beginning because this is more of a like test for yourself so my suggestion to you is that first go through all the materials that, that you need to cover for the certification that i will talk about it very shortly and uh, after going through all of the course materials, then come to this page where you will test yourself, your knowledge. 
out of 10 you will see like how many questions you can answer correctly if you are answering uh, less than uh, eight questions correctly then you really need to work hard again because to pass a certification i believe the passing mark is near around 70 percent so if you can't answer the eight question out of the 10 correctly that means you need more practice more uh, you need to gain more knowledge about some uh, some specific topics okay so we have gone through the exam outline and uh, the exam overview and everything so the ne next big question could be how could we get prepared for the certification the aws solutions architecture certification my first suggestion for you is to please go through all the videos that i have uploaded under my the cloud investor channel so currently there are almost uh, 32 videos and most of the videos are related to cloud so in every videos i try to uh, cover uh, aws services uh, in a very detailed manner so if you go through this video i believe uh, you will cover almost 60% uh, of your exam preparation because these videos could be short in size but it's very effective because uh, all the important things that are needed i have covered in these videos that's the very first uh, uh, thing that you need to cover for the certification the next resource i highly suggest you to cover is this youtube video this the title is aws certified solutions architect associate 2020 passed the exam so even though it's written 2020 it still is very relevant so freecodecamp.org they have created a very good video in here so a uh, huge shout out to this channel because uh, if you look into the length of the video it's uh, 10 hours 26 minutes but trust me each and every single minute is worthy in this video i have all i have also gone through this video this video is awesome so if you cover this video you will get understanding all the nitty-gritty details that are required for this aws solution circuit as a certification so i will add the video link under my description please uh, look into it so the first is uh, first topic is uh, the first thing that you need to cover is my videos and the second thing is the, this particular video now the third uh, topic i really needed to cover for this aws solutions architect as a certification is this one exam prep aws certified solutions architect associate this is from the official aws uh, website so if you click this link in here you will see this page and the good part is it's also free so here you can see the course uh, overview the materials it's gonna cover and some additional information and the course is almost uh, four hour 30 minutes long so if you cover this uh, specific uh, tutorial that is provided by aws i can guarantee you that uh, you will have much better understanding because at the very beginning you have gone through my videos then the 10 hour video and now this uh, tutorial trust me you will cover almost all the important components that required to pass the aws solutions architect as a certification all right so after covering this one now uh, one more thing i need you to cover that is uh, aws uh, white papers white papers are very important so and when i'm talking about white papers one particular white paper is the most important one that is aws well architected framework i still remember in my exam a lot of questions were from this specific white paper so you really need to know like what is uh, uh, required to create a well architect framework so it has six pillars so here you have to go through this white paper very briefly line by line it's just not really not important for the certification it's also important to understand like how to create a very well architected uh, so software or application in aws platform so if you uh, learn all of these components uh, trust me it will help you to become a very good uh, solutions architect uh, in aws so please uh, uh, spend some time i know it's uh, kind of like time consuming to uh, go through the white paper but in the long run you will thank yourself the next thing i want you to cover is this uh, book aws certified solutions Architect official study guide so so far we have gone through some tutorials some videos so we also need to cover one book because uh, without going through a book 
uh, it's uh, very hard to pass uh, a certification specifically for AWS. So even for my certification process, I went through this book, but in the, the edition was different because it was way back eight years ago. So if you cover this book line by line, and the good part is like with this book, it comes uh, with uh, some questions. So after uh, completing one chapter, you will face uh, maybe like 20 questions after each uh, chapter. It will help you to clear all the com uh, concepts that are related to that specific chapter. So I highly suggest you to uh, purchase this book, the official book, and go through it. All right, so the last thing I want you to cover is uh, AWS console. So, once you make your mind that you want to get certified in AWS Solutions Circuit Associate, then uh, the first thing I want you to do is uh, to create AWS uh, account. And uh, once you have AWS account, log into AWS console, try to play with multiple services that are listed under the AWS uh, course outline. Uh, try to build an application, try to build web application, try to build some databases, try to build uh, some uh, key encryption services. So it will help you to integrate multiple AWS services together and uh, it will clear all the component uh, concepts. So when you are going through a tutorial, when you're going through a book, you are learning everything, the basics of it. But if you don't have the hands-on experience, you will struggle in your exam because most of the question that you're going to face in your exam for the associate certificate solution circuit that is a certification all are hands-on experience basis so they will come up with a scenario that's uh, from the console this is how it is it is and how can we solve it so if you don't know the console well you will struggle so it is very important so if you follow the roadmap that I have suggested you would first uh, going through some tutorials that I suggested at the beginning then the uh, then the official book and then AWS console I guarantee that you will pass your certification. And uh, if we are talking about the timeline, how long it may take, if Kian is spent like five to eight hours uh, per day, uh, I believe it won't take more than uh, uh, more than one and a half month for you uh, to pass the certification. If you guys have any questions or any sort of uh, confusion related to the topics that I have covered or the path that I have mentioned today, let me know under this comment section. I guarantee that I'm going to reply back very quickly. Uh, so uh, I really want you to be successful. I really want you to be a very good cloud engineer. So uh, when I started my journey, I didn't have any mentors. So I have to figure it all by myself. So, but it was not an easy way, easy, easy road. So what I want that I want to create a community where everybody will help each other so that we all can grow together. Maybe you are good at something uh, than me. You can uh, suggest me like uh, do, do these things like this way. I will highly appreciate it. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to this channel because I'm planning to upload more and more videos related to AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, uh, cloud security, uh, or in general, uh, in general uh, cybersecurity. So if you want me to cover any specific certification roadmap or any sort of topics related to IT, let me know under this comment section. I will definitely cover it in my upcoming videos. Thank you so much, guys, for watching my videos. It means a lot to me. Uh, I really appreciate the time that you are uh, putting on to uh, go through my videos because uh, I know everybody's busy. For that reason, I always try my best to provide value from my videos. So that's all for today and have a great and wonderful day.